Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day uh, so far. Just wanted to talk to you guys really quick um, about an experience that I've had that I had last week, last Wednesday to be exact. Uh, I lock, left my keys in the trunk. Um, and it was a whole old ordeal. It was a it was difficult. It was difficult. I had to run around with various different uh, companies, and, and it was difficult. And so, you know, this really started. I think kind of started like around 11 11 30 and even had an ordeal all my keys all my belongings were in the trunk and wasn't able to get it out they weren't able to get it out the locksmith was not able to get it out until the next day mind you i said all of my stuff was in the trunk so i ended up going to the leasing agent um to my leasing agent to get my keys and ended up coming to find out the key was the wrong key so next thing you know i end up having to uh, speak to someone in, main, in the maintenance department, in maintenance. And uh, the key that he had, that he brought, ended up being the wrong key. So he ended up having to drill, give me a, uh, make a new lock, a whole brand new lock and drill out the old lock for me to be able to get into my new, uh, get into my apartment. So it, I say from like 11, 11.30 to about around, I probably got settled right around 11, 11 p.m. It was a long day, um, but the reason why I wanted to tell you guys this is this. Although it was very long, very difficult, one thing that I really feel that I was taught, that I was taught throughout this particular day is finding the good within the bad. Finding the good within the bad. Always, there's so many times where you're going through difficulty. There's so many times where you're going through various different things. And you get caught up in what you're going through as opposed to what God can do through you through that particular thing that you're going through. And it's so important for us to always find the good and the bad. Because through that situation, God can bless you. God can encourage you. And, he, and, and, this, and, this, is a per, and I, this is a perfect example for me. So throughout this particular day, God was able to bless. He was able to encourage me. And the verse of the day was really interesting to me when I went because I get notifications on from the Bible app. And it said this from uh, Psalms chapter 34, verse 19. And this was very huge and it was very encouraging to me. And it really helped me. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver you them from them all. Again, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them from deliver them from the deliver, deliver them from you them all so he will deliver the righteous from those troubles from those difficult situations but we have to find we have to praise him through our through our circumstances we have to find the positives through those circumstances be be and and, and avoid the negativity avoid the complaining avoid the murmuring avoid all of this stuff that's going to stop you from moving forward and being blessed because maybe you may not be receiving the blessings that God has blessed you with because you're finding the negatives in, in all types of things. You're complaining. You're doing what the Israelites had did in the wilderness. And in order for you to get that true breakthrough, it's important to praise him. It's important to thank God. It's important to be grateful for what you have. It's important to find a good within the bad. In addition to what I and then in addition to in addition to that verse, you know, I found out I got an email saying that um, that my book was at Liberty University, which I had posted on Facebook. And that was a blessing in my life. And I'm truly thankful for it. I'm true. And I'm truly thankful for it. I'm, I'm thankful for that. God can bless you throughout no matter what. Thank God for those little things. Thank God for those big things as well. Thank God for those things, big or small. Praise him. Fix our, the Bible lets us know to fix our thoughts on things that are pure, right, just, admirable, honorable. Fix, uh, f w fix those things that are excellent and worthy of praise. You got to be positive. And God was just encouraging me, even though it was, it was a long, stressful day. God was able to encourage me and bless me in spite of. Another thing, the guy, the maintenance man who ended up uh, changing my lock, it was like, it was seemed like it was a perfect finale for a day like this. 
he was able to encourage me and his his willingness to work and do his job away from his family. I know he had a he took time out of his time time out of his evening with his family to willingly do his job and to be able to help me to the best of his ability with a positive attitude. That encouraged me. My conversation with him was very encouraging. And the fact that he was a Christian even was even more encouraging to me. And we had a phenomenal conversation. And I loved his attitude. I was willing, I was wanting to give him some money. And he was unwilling to take it. And so just to end my day, although it was a difficult day, God was able to bless me throughout it. Throughout your day, have you ever been in situations where you've been stressed? Where you've been going through situations? Maybe God is testing your faith. Maybe God is testing your strength. Maybe God is testing, are you willing to praise me in spite of? Maybe God wants to build that character within you so that you can be a testimony to somebody else who was going through the same thing. Find the positives within the negatives. Because there's always positives within negatives. Be thankful for what you have. And open your eyes up. Open your ears up. Because God is speaking through people. Right? He spoke to people through. He spoke through people. He spoke to this guy. The main this guy to me. He speaks through people. He speaks through the word of God. Again, he spoke to the word of God with that verse that I saw. Remember the verse of the day from Psalm chapter 34, verse 19. He speaks through dreams. He speaks through visions. He speaks through messages, through the word of God that pastors preach. The Holy Spirit, he speaks to the Holy Spirit. Are we willing to listen? Through the difficult day, are you willing to keep your mind and your eyes and your ears open to hear from him? Maybe you have spiritual headphones on to the point where you're not willing to listen and hear what he has to say to you. When you listen and be willing to be obe willing and obedient to what he has to say, it's amazing what when your breakthrough will come. Again, find the good within the bad. And when you do that, he will bless your life. Be blessed.